So it's another scorching hot day here on Scorched Earth, of course, and I've got a spicy idea for today. I, I think I want to try and take on Evo's little challenge here. He wants us to tame a creature using this Ascendant Slingshot. Um, he only gave me a 5% one, though. He's, he's pretty cheap, I guess, in that way. So I was thinking, because I've, I've recently acquired the, the help of an Anki, and, you know, we can cryopod it and, and bring it places, and the kangaroo is perfect for bringing back those resources. But the issue is the cryopod, um, you know, the whole timer on it uh, for the cryo sickness. I want to go over and grab this drop real quick. The whole, the whole issue is that, you know, I can't move the Anki, like, constantly. You know, I'm going to have to wait between, and, you know, I can grab all that metal and then, you know, move down to this other spot, but I can't bring the Anki, you know. I, I can't... It can't work like seamlessly or anything. So I was thinking, let's tame up an RG here today. And I want to use that guy mainly for going off and grabbing those resources. It would also make getting crystal a lot easier because you guys saw the size of my ladder and that's not a brag in any way. Uh, ooh, hello. Oh my God, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell? That's 200 armor. Wait, whoa. oh my God, that costs so much. 2000 obsidian? Is this even possible to make? Probably. No, maybe not actually. Eh, maybe inside of the replicator. Okay, never mind. I'm I'm never gonna make it though. Like, why would I want that? Yeah, that's weird. Um. Anyway, yeah. So uh, you know, getting up top of that ladder over there, it, it's a big pain to try and get to all of the uh, the crystal and everything. And um, and yeah. So I don't know. I was thinking an RG would make things a little bit easier. We could start working on the town a bit more. Cause realistically, right now, I want to work on the train station but I don't have the ability to grab that much metal that quick. What level? Level five, really? Why are they all such terrible levels around me? I have to travel so far away to find the good ones. <sighs> anyway, so yeah, that's the plan here today. I've harvested up some gates from my little thing here. We'll probably put them back after. Most of my creatures are in cryopods. Mort is too heavy to move right now. Um, oh wait, no, no, okay, it's getting better because I'm actually crafting a bunch more um, what do you call it? Submitting paste here. So obviously a lot of that stone that's inside of him is getting used. So that's awesome. Might be able to actually move him now. Can I move you inside, bro? Oh yeah, we totally can. All right. So he can actually fit through the door, which is great. So yeah, just going to chuck all my guys in here. I know it says no Equus in the, in the saloon, but um, yeah, I can break my own rules, you know, <laughs> it's uh, yeah, no, that's fine. I don't think, I don't think I'm going to complain about that. Anyway, so um, I, I think I might end up just taking AC-130 with me and maybe putting launch into a cryopod. That's probably for the best because realistically, you know, trying to uh, to look for an RG on launch might not be the easiest thing when I could just use AC-130 and just fly around and look for them. Let me just uh, chuck some of my stuff away. And unfortunately, AC-130 is silly. <laughs> really, bro? Come on. Uh, do I have to climb the top of this tower to get to you? Are you seriously not able to get out of there? Come on. <laughs> oh my god. Let me get up to my water tower. By the way, um, I'm not sure if I showed this off recently, but I was getting a lot of people asking me... Oh, I've turned on the piano, by the way. I'm getting a lot of people asking me to uh, to add like a, a kind of a water pipe coming down. So I did that in the very middle, and then we have that connected to our tap. Literally just aesthetics. It doesn't actually do anything. Um, that's actually one thing. Oh, what the hell? Oh, okay, great. Now you come to me. Really, bro? Um, that's one thing, you know, the, the fact that there's no pipes in this game, you know, they took away the pipes, they made water stuff just pipeless. Um, yeah, so the fact that they did that, it kind of bums me out a little bit. Well, at least it did until they added those thin pillars because those, like, pipes were actually good for, like, aesthetic building, you know? I've done things before, like, I, I've done, um, like, an umbrella type thing at like some sort of like pool thing that we built a couple of years ago and uh, I used the pipe as like the middle part of the umbrella and then you know triangle ceilings for the rest let me see do I have an RG saddle actually I don't think I do no definitely don't and yeah I don't in here okay cool so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to grab one I should probably just make it before we go why do I have to put these guys right in front of the door <laughs> it's already hard enough to get through um yeah so yeah the uh the whole the like the whole thin pillar thing i think is perfect for aesthetics but you know it also kind of fills the gap where they you know they've removed this other thing um and uh yeah i don't know it's really nice just getting that kind of piece similar to that back um i actually might not have chitin and keratin because i think i've been using it all oops uh i don't think i do um yeah no not really uh let's just go ahead and grab everything else that we need for it rg saddles are not expensive so that's good. I'll get some chitin and keratin at some stage. 
In fact, we, we maybe have a little bit of carrot or chitin from this guy. Not a crazy amount. Uh, let's go ahead and just chuck all that back in there. It's fine. Um, we'll get we'll get some new stuff. And let's see. Let me go ahead and just put my stuff onto my Jerboa. Um, probably can't carry a crazy amount of stuff out with me here today because my, my Mantria has not got a crazy amount of weight, obviously. Uh, I've got my darts and my arrows and everything on the Jerboa. Um, I have these gates. We're going to create like a, just a super simple RG trap just to try and get him into it. And then, you know, we'll tame him once he's in there. And um, yeah, so I think the first step, obviously, is going out to find one. So let's see. Um, I mean, they don't really spawn around here. At least I don't think I've seen any. Like anywhere kind of um, like mountainous, uh, pretty much anywhere near like red and, and blue ob is perfect for them. So we've got a little bit of a uh of a of a little flight here i guess um how good is your stam let me go ahead and actually level that up so we can fly a little bit further so hopefully my ac 130 doesn't die here today but we'll see let's go ahead and drop some bombs there we go nice <laughs> i mean we might be able to also use that here today i don't know if that's going to be useful for uh for getting an rg but um yeah anyway so guys go ahead do me a favor hit the like button if you enjoy this one um i've got quite a few of the next few videos planned out and i do want to work on some more town stuff pretty soon so yeah super excited for that and then i guess we should also try and tame a fasol suka soon enough as well you see here's the issue we should have like so many things to do right now um and I'm, it's kind of overwhelming because i'm like oh crap what do i even do today i have this massive list of things i've like literally i've written down like uh i have like a notepad where i sometimes write ideas um and I've written down like, uh, you know, short term goals and long term goals. And like a, a lot of the like short term goals are, are things that I probably could do today. So, yeah, it's a little bit overwhelming trying to figure out what to do. But um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully we can manage to actually uh, tame this guy. And that's going to give us a major boost in terms of uh, productivity, especially with the building, because I also want to sort out some vaults pretty soon to have some, you know, just to be able to put all my stuff away instead of having like 10 billion storage boxes. So definitely need to get working on that but um yeah anyway let me uh let me probably aim towards the ground here maybe that little uh hill or whatever you call this right here um yeah we'll head over here we'll land we'll get some more stam and then we will take off and look for some rgs maybe i'll start over by blue ob because there was quite a few rgs around there okay well we're getting kind of close to like the area that we should start seeing a bunch of them i think that um that hill over there is usually pretty good um and then also we tamed our uh, our two 150s the other day, basically between that hill and that mountain right there. So yeah, that's uh, that's probably a pretty good spot to look for them because I saw quite a few RGs over there while I was taming that Anki and the Carno. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully we can get a good level. I'm, I'm looking for, I'll settle for like a 130 up if I can within maybe the next hour. And if I can't, then I'll settle for anything just above 100 just to have one. Um, yeah, oh, we've already started seeing a couple of them here and that's a tape jar up there, hello. Oh god, you're you're gorgeous. Whoa. Ah, terrible level, of course. I should have just guessed it. I should have just looked at its colors and been like, no, it's terrible. It's gonna be terrible. Let's see, what do we got over here? Level 20. Yeah, they're not super good. I'm not gonna spend time killing them just because obviously can't do that with this guy. He's uh I mean he can dust them and and maybe ruin their linens, but that's about it. Um <laughs> You know what? To be honest, they should have done something with the uh with the Lymantria where it can actually like kill players if they're wearing cloth armor or something i don't know that would have been kind of funny <laughs> to be honest they probably should still do that make it like the the Sinnoh. you know the Sinnoh's got like uh extra boost against um like chitin armor or something oh 125 okay that's not bad i will keep you in mind but i will be looking for something better but you will be my fallback <laughs> but um yeah so it would be cool if they did something like that with the uh with the Lymantria. They probably should. Come on, like, they definitely should. That's a level five. Really? You're gorgeous as well. It's blue. I love blue, as we all know. Um, all right. I don't really see any more RGs around here. Oh, hello. <laughs> I don't see any more RGs around here, but I do see him. I didn't, but then I did. Um, well, how's the stam going? Okay, yeah, we need to regen. Yeah, hopefully that 125 will be there if I need it, but hopefully we won't need it. So, yeah. Uh, 125 is not like it's not a bad level it's just i don't know like the higher the level the higher the weight stats potentially going to be you know we could get really lucky with the 125 but at the same time I, I don't know i don't actually see any more archies down here but this mountain right here is perfect for them and also over there as well so 
yeah let's just take another little look here what is that okay i'm seeing some rgs hello level was that 60 not good got another one over there oh please oh damn it and you level 10 great <laughs> um i wasn't watching their genders at all so i don't know if there's another hidden one there they could have all been female and then there's a hidden male but i have no idea i don't think so i think we're good cool all right let's uh let's fly off in this direction um, obviously right now we got to realize it is quite warm. Um, so that's the thing. And I've also just realized, oh no, I'm a dumbass. Oh no. I ran upstairs in my base to grab a cryopod so I could go ahead and bring launch with me. And then I forgot to do that. <laughs> Why are these guys all terrible? What the hell? Okay. Well, I, that's a tape jar. Let's see what level were you again? Oh God, that one's the best one. I want that one. <sighs> that's annoying um there's so many of them around here though yeah we're totally gonna find a good level i can tell like 100 percent are gonna find like you know potentially 17 max levels here that would be great but maybe just one that would be fantastic i would settle for one max level over 17 i don't think i'd be able to tame all 17 um by the way that cardo heard the other day that was crazy i was watching that back while editing and i was like how did that even happen you know, it must have been two sets of Carno that, like, spawned, you know, or sets. More like little groups of Carno that spawned, right? And then, and then like, another, like, group spawned somewhere else, you know? And then, I don't know, like, it, it must have been maybe, like, there was probably, like, at least eight or nine Carnos there. So it's very confusing. I don't know how they all congregate in the same area. It doesn't make much sense. I guess they do move in herds is what I'm trying to understand here. They definitely do. This area is crazy. What the hell? It's so, like, not blue. What? It's blue, the obelisk. It's, um, it's so green. <laughs> There's so many trees. This is, I, was it always like this? I don't think it was. Was it? I don't, I don't think so. Definitely don't think so. At least we know it's very cool over here. So we can actually come over here to, um, to cool down and everything. Let's see. Any easy to grab silica pearls? I don't have a whip. I should really be carrying one, I know. Oh, look. There's, like, little caves and everything over here cool nice well um this was not what i was planning on doing so let me uh continue my search for the rgs we've seen like at least 30 rgs so far maybe <laughs> i don't know maybe a little bit less than that we've seen quite a lot of them so i'm i'm hoping there's got to be a max level here soon oh well there we go one four five perfect it's not beautiful but that's to be expected because yeah you know oh oh hello hang on hang on hang on it's being attacked uh, let's see. And boom. And we'll get it to eat that corpse as well. That should be, uh, enough to heal it. I don't think it's actually getting really hurt at all. There we go. Cool. All right. Let's, um, let's get it to eat that. Let me see. Where's a good spot for this trap? Actually, right here could be perfect as well. But there is another Archie there. So we're, we might have to deal with him. Oh, yeah. No, this is good. Yeah, this is, this is perfect. Nice. And I can make the trap as well without being disturbed. Um, what I really should have done is make a bed but let's make a sleeping bag because i have stuff for that because i am a smart boy uh where am i scrolling down so far i've definitely went way past it where is it there it is boom um okay so we got that coming let's get these gates down we probably only need like three of them i don't know why i actually grabbed four let's see so the basic premise here is that you're going to be using gates as the way to trap this guy uh so you lead it in one end um oh crap hang on wait oh, yeah i hate this i hate this stuff there we go. You lead it in one end, and then um, essentially what you're going to do is just disable snapping. You know, use the gaps between the gates, which shouldn't be too big. You don't want to leave them too big. You leave those gaps between the gates to be able to shoot at this guy. In this case, pelt stones at him. Um, okay, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, I hate this. Boom. And then I'm trying to just check the gaps. Yeah, that's good. So that should be perfect for us. Now, I will say... I know people are going to say it. There's definitely more efficient traps that you can do, but I've got pickup on, so, you know, it's fine. I don't really, you know, I'm not breaking the bank. In fact, I didn't even make these here today. We already had those. I just harvested them from my from my base, essentially. So, yeah, you know, there's definitely, like, really efficient traps, uh, but they're, I feel like the setup on them it takes a little bit longer. We could probably just build one around here anyway and just keep using it, but I'm good with uh, with just having this one. So let's see. Um, I might try and just get a sleeping bag down. I'm wondering if I should just die real quick and then try to do the tame. That might be for the best. I don't know, cause like we're uh, we're not doing super great here in terms of health. Like, and I'm just gonna keep dying. So 
yeah we might have to just do that i think i'll place that sleeping bag there and i'll place another one um maybe like somewhere else here because i don't want the rg to break them all at once which easily could happen let's see let's do that okay uh i'm gonna place this is gonna be the one that we're gonna respawn at actually i'm just gonna do that right now so yeah you know what maybe that one there's fine where is our rg actually it wasn't it was super pretty looking so let's see let's just not look for the beautiful ones which one are you no hmm. it was like r maybe closer to this area here um okay yeah we might need to find it again it definitely wasn't blue but you look pretty okay that's not you um oh that might be it down there somewhere where did i see that there we go cool all right so we'll just die real quick and then we shall get that guy to come up here okay i don't know which one this is um yeah that was the one that i wanted to break nice perfect okay maybe i'll just uh i'll make another sleeping bag real quick as well do that i'm actually gonna harvest up the syntax just to uh you know rid the world of that fine ass but uh then also you know the rg would aggro to that and, and not go into the trap so that's you know not what we want um <laughs> let's see uh okay let me pop on my armor boom 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 and then let's get another sleeping bag made oh, he's chirping that's a sandstorm oh that's gonna be a real big pain i'm not excited for that at all yeah that's not gonna be good okay i'm gonna place this one like here i guess hopefully that doesn't make me fall off the cliff um all right so we need let's see wait why did i actually why did i bring this many of the actual gates <laughs> I brought the three gateways, which was already overkill. But then on top of that, I brought, um, you know, a ton of gates as well. The actual doors. That was silly. Um, my RG was somewhere down there. That actually, is that him or her? That is. Okay, cool. So it's even closer now. Let's go ahead and do that. Can I fit through here? I can. Sweet. Let's quickly just grab some, um, some stone. And then we will begin this tame. Let's see. Let's go for, yeah, we got plenty of rocks here to hit so i i'm gonna try and knock it out with the slingshot like if it's looking like i'm gonna kill it maybe we would have to stop i don't know um it's not the easiest thing to do but i wonder if that trick still works with the archies you know the way that they get their healing when they harvest a corpse well it's like a lot of people noticed this a couple years ago and i'm not sure if it's been patched but uh, essentially what you could do is you could get it very very close to being knocked out and then get it to actually eat a corpse which heals it but drops down its stamina like significantly which then also drops down its um its food and um yeah essentially at that point then when you you just hit it with another dart or whatever you knock it out and then almost immediately it will eat all of that food because it's already dropped down so yeah that was kind of like the thing that uh that a lot of people were doing a couple years ago but um obviously in this area it would not be super easy for me to do so we might not be able to do that but anyway Let's see. Um, I think I'm going to probably have to maybe take out my Anki just so I have something to run to just in case. Um, and then I'm going to put AC-130 away. And or should I lead you the RG up with it? Hmm. Yeah, this is tricky. Okay, let's keep the Anki on passive. We might try and do this. I guess I can use the, the Moth Dust anyway to... Oh my god, that one's really nice looking. Oh, damn it. Wait, hang on. I'm like, it's like that meme where, like, you're, like, uh, you know, the, the girl's, like, boyfriend is, like, look, turned around looking at, like, another girl. <laughs> it's just, like, it's me with my, like, with the RG that I would tame, and then, you know, the other RGs in the area that are prettier. Okay, I'm not, am I going to be able to hit it from here with that? Also, this thing could easily break, and if that happens, there, oh my god, whoa, 144 damage. Okay. All right, so, I think, um... Maybe the best bet would be to bring it into there with my moth. And then at that point, I drop the, the dust. And then, oh crap, hang on, hang on. Ooh, I meant to put that there. And then at that stage, we place the gate behind it after I escape. That could be a thing. Let's see, let's just get in here. I, oh, whoa, 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 yay, what are you doing? Oh, actually, hang on, it might be possible now to just get it to come straight in with my character. Let's see. Uh, okay, this is making me nervous. This uh, sheer cliff could definitely... Oh my god, that's a lot of RGs. Are you it? Are you the one? I don't... Yeah, you're the one. Okay, hang on. Oh, I better not aggro another one. Is that going to hit? No. Eh. 
Oh, it's way further over there, isn't it? I'm gonna waste all my stone just trying to get it to come up here. <laughs> uh, eh. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to hit it from here with the slingshot. Probably not. Um, we're gonna have to attempt this again then. Let's see, let me grab my guy. Okay. I guess I could have just used rare flowers, but yeah, I don't know. This worked. Uh, I might actually have to kill you as well, because I feel like you're gonna just disturb us. Um, maybe doing that will actually aggro the other one. Oh, there it is. I didn't realize we were that close to it. Wow, okay. Yeah, I might have to kill that other one. Wait, are you the one I'm taming? No. Where's my one? There's my one. Nice, okay. I mean, here, let's see. Do that. Got it. You got it killed. It's going for the food. Of course it would. Let's see. I'm wondering if I might need some more stone. <laughs> Let's see. Come on, bro. You and me. There we go. Okay. Okay. Just let it think that it's going to be able to catch me. Come on. Let's keep going. Just this lovely, not super suspicious trap right here. There we go. <laughs> that was very pro, actually. <laughs> I'm pretty happy about that. Nice. Okay. Um, now, now we just need to be able to do this. But I didn't give myself a great angle to try and do this at. So we'll see. Oh, that didn't hit. There we go. We hit with that one. Just space them out a little bit. Oh, we got a sandstorm now. You can't shoot sand, unfortunately. So that sucks. Anyway, we're going to be doing this for a while. Certainly. Uh, I might end up killing it, to be honest. Yeah, that might happen. I hope that doesn't happen. Yeah, I'm getting kind of nervous by how much damage this thing is doing. Obviously, I don't know how much Torpor it's doing. We need to check that. We need to find out. There it is. Can I check you without you getting mad at me? Eh. Oh, oh, whoa. Hang on a second. This is working. Uh, I'm almost placing a gate. That's silly. Okay. Just charge up a couple more. Oh, I'm totally going to kill it, though. Hang on, hang on. I don't want to. I won't. Don't worry. Mm, yeah, no, I can't, guys. There's no way. I'm going to kill it. Oh, uh, yeah. It would have been fun to do with that, with that, but, you know, the slingshot's too powerful. It's not dealing enough, enough, uh, like, uh, torpor, so, yeah, not going to be a thing. Let's see. Let's grab that. We're going to have to dart it for the rest. I don't want to screw this, uh, this one, four, five up, you know. I, I want to tame it. So, yeah. <laughs> we may actually be past that point now at this stage. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I don't know. How much damage does this do again? 48, okay. Oh, he's pissed. Ooh, we're good, we're good. Hey, he doesn't like the darts, anyway. Hmm. Hopefully we can do this. Eh, gonna check. Okay. Hit you a bunch more. Uh, that didn't count, nice. I think, can you get headshots on RGs? I never remember. Getting, like, bounced around a little bit here. That that one looked like it counted, but I didn't get a damage number. It might have counted. It might have just bugged out. Oh, my God, bro. You're, like, wigging me out here. Okay. Uh, yeah, we should hopefully be able to get it down. I would have loved, again, to use the sling shot, but, like, come on. I would have killed it. 100%. Um, all right. Let me check on you, then. See, okay, I can hit you, what is that, three more times maybe, I think? Maybe not actually, I think just two because it does 48, okay, good to know. Um, huh, you definitely hit one more anyway. Hmm, yeah, I shot way too many rocks at you. Oh, oh, come on, come on. Oh, he's that, okay, hang on, here we go, last start, boom. <laughs> <laughs> he healed up above 48 left. So there we go. We, we got it. We got it down. Nice. Sorry. Yeah. No. The, um, <laughs> the slingshot. It's just too powerful. It's just, that's my weapon of mass destruction. What we need to do is knock out a wyvern with it. That will work. Maybe. Maybe not, actually. We'd probably end up killing it as well. This thing's way too powerful. Why did Evo give us these? Anyway, there we go. We got the RG out. Awesome. It's 145, of course. Got a sandstorm. Let me put him on the tracker. Gotta wait 10 minutes for it to show me this. That's not even what I'm looking at. <laughs> How are you still there? You're not even the most recent tame that I got. Apparently I'm taming a Pego. Probably the, maybe it's not the one that's still in my car because that one's dead. 
Um, yeah. Oh my god, it's on... It's on four health! <laughs> <laughs> oh my wow okay yeah no that's that's not okay i i was so close to killing you oh uh, it worked out though yeah there we go um cool so what have we learned uh we've learned that the slingshot while effective may kill the target <laughs> so we need to we need to be using it um carefully <laughs> we we don't want to be using it on on creatures that uh will take a lot of damage um, from it and and not be able to survive it while also resisting the uh, the urge to be knocked out themselves so yeah let's um yeah let's let's watch out for that I think uh, yeah let's put the anki away now let me just grab you I only put you uh, yeah now I need to go back base maybe to, to grab a thingy I don't know hmm not a thingy uh, not a saddle is what I'm talking about I'm thinking like a cryopod because then I can put my moth away and then we can just use the RG later and get a couple levels on it yeah it could be a thing um more stem cool yeah maybe I'll do that I don't know we could probably wait for him to like like RGs don't really require the narco so yeah we should be okay I can probably fly back to base and then come all the way back here and uh, try to get this guy so yeah I guess I'll see you guys in a little while while that thing is slowly draining down i'll be flying home and doing things that are productive <laughs> maybe also uh looking for a saddle on the way home yeah this is definitely the spot to come to oh please oh, look at that one i want that one god damn it <laughs> there's so many of them i don't i don't think i flew over to this side so like we're seeing even more of them there's got to be at least like a hundred archies just around this area here it's crazy it's insane. <laughs> wow. All right, there we go. We have enough stuff now for the saddle. Uh, here we go. RG, boom. Nice. Cool. And you've also got a bunch of levels. Sweet. Go ahead and mostly just focus on that melee damage. Hmm. Not a good level. <laughs> Maybe a good location, though. There's quite a lot of stuff around here. I'm actually curious what would happen... Because obviously you're supposed to bash their heads into, like, rocks and things like that. Is a metal node a good thing to bash their head into? I would assume so, right? Because I believe, like, and I even noticed it myself when I was testing it out for that video that I made. Um, yeah, I believe that if you hit their heads into, like, sand and then the bones. Not the big rib cages. The actual little bones on the ground. If you hit those with a pickaxe, you're going to get salt back. But, um, yeah, you can also obviously bash into those as well. So, like, I couldn't do it to all of this. But I think I would just assume that these bones back here are breakable. Like, if they're breakable with a pickaxe, that means that he can do it as well. Let's see. I don't have my picks there for my hatchet. Uh, yeah, these ones are breakable. So, yeah, you'd be able to um, to bash into, like, you know, bones. But obviously, this rib cage doesn't break. So, don't hit that. Because if you hit that, then it's going to kick you off. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I'm just assuming metal nodes are probably pretty useful as well, actually. I don't know how abundant they are just out on the dunes, though. Maybe not a crazy amount. All right, let's see. Let's grab out that prime. We'll chuck it onto the Jerboa. This is way too much. I'll grab a stack of normal meat as well, though. Boom. And let's pop that onto Reginald. Um, let's just go meat. And boom. Nice. So that will last on him for a good long while. Sweet. All right. Cool. I'm, uh, I'm probably going to just start flying over there now. Like, the RGs starve down by... Uh, let's see, about 400, so that's eight feeds almost. Um, oh, you've been recently injured? Okay, I guess I'm gonna put you in here then. All right, well, I made it here right before a sandstorm hit, so that's great. <laughs> there we go. All right, so, what's, wait, what's on you? Oh. Oh, that's from me earlier, okay. I was confused, I thought that was my Lymantria. I was about to say, how the hell do you get items? Oh my god. <laughs> this guy is, uh, he's not doing too good now, is he? Let's see grab a bunch of that definitely don't need all of it but it's all good here you go bro you should be ready to tame i would say right um what is he getting like nine percent per uh yeah it, he's definitely ready to tame 100 percent. okay sweet and he is so low on health he, i don't think he's really healed at all <laughs> okay now obviously he gets healed when he tames up but that's crazy he has still like four health how did he not heal at all? Did they literally not heal even in the slightest? I don't think I've ever gotten anything that low. 
so I don't think I've ever actually fully noticed that. But that's crazy. Awesome. Well, now we get we we got a freaking 145. Uh, let's see. Let me. Where's your saddle? There it is. Boom. Don't know why I was struggling to find that. Uh, let's go ahead and pick these guys up. And obviously now we're just gonna have to chill here because there's a sandstorm. So that's great. Well, let's see the stats at least. Um. Yeah, you know, melee's decent. Uh, stamina's okay. It could be better. Yeah, you know, not 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 too bad. Not too bad at all. I guess what we could do, if we want to, is uh, drag some archies in here for a fight. That could be a thing. Let's see. I don't know what level you are, but uh, you're pretty, so you're definitely a bad level. There we go. Just as I thought. Let's see. Boom. Got you. Um, anybody else that I can drag in? Maybe you. Got you as well. Yeah, just figure we'll get some levels or something here. At least test them out. Here we go. They're definitely not going to come all the way here, are they? You might. I don't think about... Yeah, I feel like you might de-aggro before you actually get here. Here we go. Come on, bro. 93 damage. Not super great. Here we go. And let me get you as well. 25. I knew it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Sandstorm's all gone. Let me see. Let me go ahead and grab that purple drop anyway. I love the sandstorms, actually. Like, I don't like being in them, but I really appreciate the effect here that we have going on. It's literally just like the storm passes right through over the map, and then, you know, it doesn't just dissipate. It actually just continues to go off in the in that direction there. That Karno was beautiful. I really wish that was a good level. <laughs> I would have totally tamed it. Oh, man. All right. Let's see. What do we what do we have in terms of health here? 40 health on it. Um there's quite a few Carno. There's uh, so many thorny dragons here. I see 6. That's crazy. Why is there so many? <laughs> is this like the territory of like the RGs, Carnos and thorny dragons? Is there anything else around here? I'm starting to, you know, question this game sometimes, you know. So uh, that's very confusing. There's like there's actually like 6 of them in the same spot. Oh, man. All right. Come on, bro. Don't bleed me out. Thank you. Uh, should be... Yeah, I'll probably just kill this guy as well. He's a 105. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, but not good enough. Let's see. Come on. Nice. I got you. Get a little bit of uh, keratin from these guys, so it's definitely appreciated. There you go. Let's grab this then. Uh, ooh. Ooh, that was, that was a Megatherium saddle? I think I might already have like a blueprint or something. Maybe it's not a blueprint. I'm actually not sure. I think I have a Megatherium something though. So that's that's pretty good. I wonder if that's better than what I already have. Let's see, let's kill these guys too. Just again, like I, I want all the levels on this thing, you know. I want it to be able to carry the Yankee, which will be reducing the weight of the metal on it, of course. But um, yeah, if I'm able to carry that Yankee around, then that's perfect. Come on, bro. Oh, maybe I'll also grab you as well, just because I could use some more chitin and keratin. And you've got just chitin. Come on. There we go. Nice. Okay. Uh, how we doing here? Not a crazy amount of stuff. Let's grab all those arrows. Crazy amount of arrows, for sure. Uh, yeah, everything into weight. Let's get that up. Nice. Okay. Let me just keep working on killing some of these guys. They're definitely not amazing XP, but... It's working, you know. They're not too hard to kill. We can hit them with a headshot as well. Let's see. Oh, yeah. This guy's, like, only a level 5. Oof. There we go. Come on. Nice. Let me get down here and grab you. Anything else around here that I can kill without getting too close to the trench? I haven't actually been over here yet, and I'm pretty nervous. Although, I have heard from somebody on the server who has been to here. That I don't know if that video is out yet, so I don't want to spoil who it is, but... Um, they said that there wasn't very many, um, any, very many, like, wyverns in there for some reason, which is very strange. I don't, I don't know why that would be a thing. But yeah, I don't know, like, back in Scorched Earth and, you know, what is it called? Survival Evolved, like, there was, there was a decent amount of wyverns in there, so, I don't know. Very, very odd to, to hear that there wasn't that many. Maybe we need to do a dino wipe. Maybe we've just been going around the rest of the map too long and oh that's a 140 hmm maybe i'll tame you <laughs> i don't think i've okay is he gonna knock me out okay we might be okay i don't think i've tamed a scorpion in a long long time let's tame him sure it's it'll be easy might just fly pretty much close to base but not all the way back i know i have a turret don't worry <laughs> what the hell 
That just meshed? Oh my god. How the hell did I do that? From right here? That was crazy. Um, damn. I felt like wildcard breathing down my neck there for a second. I thought I was about to get banned. All right, well, there we go. We have the, um, we have the, the scorpion back at the base-ish. I mean, the base is, like, uh, over there. But, yeah, I, I couldn't bring it all the way back because of our turret. Uh, oh, crap, yeah, I keep forgetting to pull you off of follow. Here we go. Yeah, I don't really have a better spot to do this in. Obviously, I don't have, like, a taming pen anywhere. Where is it? Where did this little guy go? Let's go over here, maybe. There he is. I see him. Um, hmm, I wonder if I can hit him from this side, maybe. There we go. Oh, oh my god. Look how far away that is. There's no way. There's actually no way that that is... Ah, oh, that's silly. That's so, so silly. All right. <laughs> I'm just... I don't, I don't even know what to say. I, I just don't. There's no words. There aren't. Um, so here's the thing. I could use the slingshot here, um, and it might work, but at the same time, it might not be a great idea because I'm probably going to end up killing this thing. But you know what? Yeah. Um, we'll just use this instead. I don't want to grab that explorer note right now. Um, come on, bro. We'll just hang around these runes here. Um, are you already going out? What the hell? You're already... Oh my god, you're trying to kill yourself with my turrets. No! He's actually trying to, I think. What is he planning? <laughs> He's not really, though, is he? Uh, okay, missed that one. Let's see. Trying to get down here. Ooh. Oh, nice bounce there. Hey, there we go. We got it out already. That's awesome. All right. Uh, am I going to get my RG on follow somehow? Might not happen. Let's just go ahead and do this. So yeah, scorpions take uh, spoiled meat. So I know I already have a bunch of that back at the base. We'll just chuck that into that guy. Um, maybe not the best thing to tame, you know, but it was a 140 and it was like right there. So yeah, I don't mind. Anyway. Let's, uh, let's see. So let's grab that spoiled meat and then we're gonna have to unfortunately wait now until my cryo sickness is gone. So then I can pull out my Anki and start doing some collecting. But maybe in the meantime, we can fly out there and check out the rest of uh, the resources that are available up on top of that thingy. Here we go. Procoptodon's dead. Perfect. Um, let's see. Just unfollow on you. And it looks like she fixed our, our little thingy here. Do that. What is that? Okay, there we go. Yeah, we got a direwolf coming in at us nice there and then there cool and then wait oh yeah i put my uh my equus on the inside of the base all right let's do that okay let's also just make these look nice because we can there we go boom boom and yeah we didn't do any more over there okay and then this last one perfect all right let's grab that spoiled meat we'll go over and uh feed that to the scorpion and then i want to check out the top of that stack thing over there that's way more than I would need, I would say, but it's all good. Let's see. Let me also maybe fill up on some water as well. Do I have any? I do. Nice. Cool. I must have picked up a canteen from a drop at some stage. I, I didn't even notice. But uh, yeah, that's awesome. All right. Let's feed this guy. He's like over here somewhere. Yeah, these were the ones that I couldn't get to on the Anki unless I cryopotted it and moved it across, which, you know, it's a thing that I could do, but it's just kind of annoying because I have to wait for the cryo sickness to go away. Uh, oh, there's the scorpion. I was about to say, where the hell is it? Um, so obviously, you know, this may seem like PvE, but we're actually, like, I've never played PvE mode in Ark ever. Um, I've only ever played on PvP just playing non, you know, combative or whatever. So, yeah. Um, that's why we do still have the, uh, the cryo sickness coming in. Obviously, we can't turn that off unless we sh switched it to PvE, and there's a lot of really annoying settings that I don't like in PvE, so I don't want to have to deal with all that, so that's why we don't play on that at all. Even though everybody just calls me a PvE YouTuber, where, you know, I've never even played it. I don't know what you're talking about, <laughs> which is 100% true, but, you know, anyway, it's fine. Let's see, uh, let me get up here and see what we got. Uh, I can break my ladder now as well, actually, which is going to be good because I, I do feel bad having that ladder there. Uh, there we go. We got a bunch more crystal here, a little bit of obsidian. Love that. Uh, yeah, actually, there's a good amount of crystal on this side. Almost maybe more than the other side where I have my ladder leading up to. We got some up here as well. Nice. Yeah, decent amount up here. And then a good amount right there as well. Yeah, this is, this is fine. This is going to be absolutely perfect for us. We'll just... You know, we'll bring the Anki up here. We'll just break up all these crystal nodes. We could do it with a pickaxe as well, but it's fine. 
yeah this is like the only section that i've ever really gathered them from and then right there i could have but i would have had to you know get all the way down here somehow and then i could jump across but then how the hell do i get back and back up to the area where i have my ladder which is over here so yeah let me just go over and break that there it is which is like the most scuffed way of doing this by the way you know i could i didn't want to like make any more foundations up here because they do actually block resources um that crystal that was here before clearly hasn't respawned because i have this foundation here so obviously i didn't want to do any more there because that would that would block out some of the, the the nodes and everything but it just meant that i had to climb up onto the ladder and then i had to go ahead and um and just like fly off the end of the ladder and hopefully land on top of uh something here that i can climb up on um which didn't work all the time obviously but yeah anyway let's go down here and break this ladder and then we'll know how many it was i think it was like 50 it might have been slightly more slightly less i can't really remember the exact number let's see how many ladders was this 50 on the dot whoa okay <laughs> that's hilarious um i guess that makes sense because i think when i got to the very top there it actually said that i was out of range so maybe that makes a whole lot of sense actually yeah i feel like it does let's see let's go ahead and do that and we have just a couple more seconds of the uh the cryo sickness on our anki here well i have the cryo sickness he would have it uh you know he'd be knocked out and everything oh my god that crystal already respawned whoa um I, I guess i'll grab that i'll just grab it manually uh let's see go ahead and pop this onto number one pop that onto number two and oh what oh what i thought i i thought i hit my pick there that's weird uh there we go cool we'll use a sickle to gather up some freaking crystal there we go um might also grab the obsidian that we have here too because i was thinking of maybe making a couple artifact pedestal thingies so yeah let's check out our anki and like i said now we can carry him around you know i'm not gonna have to constantly wait for his craft sickness to go away which is definitely super useful for us just makes things a lot quicker you know here we go oh yeah nice okay so yeah um i'm just gonna gather up all the crystal on this spot right here which is definitely gonna be a huge amount because this guy is very efficient at gathering it let's try the obsidian as well We might end up getting way more resources than I can carry down, to be honest. So, yeah, I might actually have to make a couple trips. Yeah, he doesn't get any reduction on crystal. I think an RG does, though. I think it might. Let me go over here and check. I I'm pretty sure the RG gets a 50% reduction on crystal. Let's see. And then does he get it? I don't think he gets reduction on the obsidian either. Yeah, he doesn't get any on stone. And I think RG gets uh reduction on all those resources so let's see um let's try the crystal first yeah 50 percent like i thought uh let's try that yeah 50 percent as well and i know that the stone does as well so yeah i guess uh the main thing here when we're not gathering metal is just mostly having all that stuff on my rg so yeah let's grab the rest of this stuff and yeah then we can maybe go down and check out our scorpion he's 50 percent tamed yeah we are a little bit too heavy for you yeah definitely i could probably yeah you know what i'll drop the stone stone's not hard to get at all uh, i guess it's mostly the ladders <laughs> it's 60 ladders in total um okay cool yeah so i'm definitely gonna have to do a couple little trips here uh let's let's just drop some of this stuff and then pop that onto the yankee maybe Well, either way though i mean like what is that 400 and yeah we we got like just like 870 crystal from just a couple minutes here and that's just one of these areas as well obviously you know we've got down over here we've got a couple nodes there we've got up here which it looked like there actually might have been more than uh than back there yeah there's a ton of nodes right there and then obviously there's a bunch of them here as well so yeah this is uh i would say this is probably like i don't know maybe like three to four thousand crystal in total and then definitely a decent amount of obsidian as well so yeah I'm, I'm really happy just having this beside my base that's gonna be super useful i'll just uh i'll bring the stuff back and then i'll come back for my anki after um we'll just maybe try and collect up a bunch of crystal because it's it's not an extremely important thing that i need a ton of but it's very useful because the frontier lamps cost 10 i believe 
So yeah, let's see. The Frontier Lamps, yeah, they cost 10 crystal, obviously 20 metal, which is more expensive. But, you know, if I'm wanting to craft like a bunch of those, which I have been, I've crafted probably like, I don't know, like 30 to 40 of them so far. Like they're, they're quite expensive to make. And the crystal is like the one thing that is not so easy for me to get. Well, it wasn't. It is now because obviously, yeah, we have access to that area up there now much easier than before with that ladder to just one of those spots and i think i was always getting like around 200 crystal before anyway so yeah this guy is still taming up it says rg but obviously we know that it's not um i'm talking about on the right hand side of the screen very confusing i don't know i don't know why that says that there <laughs> and i know that i could put away my rg and i would it would still say that because this game is is very broken in weird ways um yeah let's get back to the base and dump this stuff home yeah, obviously he lost a couple levels through the taming process, but it's all good. There we go. This is the best thing that they eat. Like, they don't actually eat kibble, I don't believe. There we go. Let me mess this guy up. Come here, little turd. Hey. <laughs> nice. You know, I do like them. I, I think the, the scorpion is, like, an interesting creature to use. I just don't think that they're as good as they could be, you know? They definitely could be a little bit more powerful. I mean, yeah. I don't know. But that's the same when it comes to all the insects in the game. <laughs> Passive, we are leaving. I need to remember that you're back there and deal with you at some point because that's not good. I actually didn't even know he was there. He couldn't have been there earlier, right? Because we were like, I walked right by him, maybe, possibly. <laughs> I'm not even certain, but I think we did. Like, he definitely would have popped out of his rock form earlier if, if he had a still been there. He must have just spawned. That's crazy. Wow. Um. Anyway, yeah, a lot of the insects in the game are, are just not super good at... Uh, you know, at actually doing damage and everything like that. You know, there's a couple of them that are decent, but yeah, I don't know. Like, spiders all suck, you know. Arthro's really good for one thing and one thing only, def you know, destroying metal and I guess armor as well. But, like, they don't deal that much damage to themselves. And then, yeah, I don't know. I can't think of any more insects off the top of my head, but they're all kind of, like, not super great. I mean, the mantis is a bit of a different one, I, I would say. That thing's insane. Well, it can be if you give it really good weapons in its hands, but yeah, anyway. So, could be handy to have this guy. Can't hurt to just tame him. Didn't really cost much, but uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, guys, we now have our RG. Um, I think I'm going to name him Agent Travis, because that's the perfect name for any Argentavis. Let's pop you in here real quick and then name that guy up. So, uh, yeah, we have the RG now. Very, very useful. Definitely going to be making a uh, huge amount of use of this dude. Let's see. Agent uh, Travis. There we go. Keep, like, button mashing. Sweet. And AC-130. I'll probably still pop him out and put him up there or something. In fact, I might do that now. Where did I put AC-130? Oh, are you in here? Okay, I guess I never put you away, did I? thought I put you into cryopod for some reason. Here we go. Boom. And let me chuck you up here. So, yeah, I don't know. You know, I didn't necessarily want an RG super soon, but it's definitely going to help pr productivity to actually, you know, be able to run out and grab all the metal that I'm going to need for the build and, and that kind of stuff. So, yeah, definitely super useful. Uh, either way, though, guys, if you have enjoyed this one, go ahead, do me a favor, hit the like button. If you want to see more like this, subscribe. And, yeah, I'll be catching you in the next one. And I got a thunderstorm on the way.